so today I am actually getting a chance at redemption. I am going at ungodly speeds. Hi and welcome to the channel. My name is Castellin if you're new and if you're not, look at you being consistently supportive. I love that. I love that for us. Today, I am actually getting a chance at redemption. There is a video I did uh, about a year ago when my channel was starting about a staycation in Rasalheimer and I can never watch that video to date because it's giving cringe. Like I was so shy. I couldn't even speak directly to the camera. I think the whole video is a voiceover. <laughs> uh, today we're heading back to Rasalheimer for another staycation for the weekend. So of course I'll be taking you along. Um, Ras Al Khaimah is not that far from Dubai, it's about one and a half hour drive. I just finished getting ready and now I'm about to get into packing the stuff I'm going to carry. So let's do that. I just laid out the few items that I'm going to carry. It's just for the weekend. So I carried this two piece set over here. It's a top and a skirt. That's mainly for taking uh, pictures. Then I have this uh, simple slip dress. This is definitely going to be helpful with the heat. I also have another, it's just one of those jersey material dresses as well. Everything is light and simple for the heat. I have a few toiletries over here. I carried a pair of shorts to put over my um, my swimwear. I have a few um, costumes over here, pajamas, and I'm going to put glasses inside there. And that's basically it. And I have a makeup bag which is on the side. So I'll put this together and then we can head out. <laughs> waiting for the car to come around. My luggage is here. This is the bag that I packed and this has just camera equipment and lighting. And that's pretty much it. Sorrows, sorrows and prayers. This is the worst. So we left the house, loaded up the car and went to the shopping mall near the house because I needed to get a few things before we hit the road. I went inside the shopping mall, left my husband inside the car. When I came back out, he told me that the car has a malfunction. The dashboard is showing that the temperature outside is minus 4 degrees and there is possibility of ice on the road. And yet, it's literally 45 degrees outside, which doesn't make sense. And on top of that, the AC is not cooling at all. It's just blowing hot air. So there's no way we could drive the car when it's in this condition. 
I don't know if this trip is still happening. <laughs> if you see this, <laughs> of course it happened. But I'm back in the house because me, I couldn't handle that heat. So he took it to the service center. Hopefully the trip, the trip will still be on. I left everything in the car, my camera, my everything, because it was just getting so hot. I couldn't sit there a minute longer. I don't know how he's driving. He has to put the windows down. And the, when the windows are down, like from the shopping mall to the house, I was already feeling like my whole face was melting off. When the windows are down, the air outside is hot. It's not cool air. So it's literally blowing hot air into the car. It's hectic. I just got a call that the AC is working again, so I'm going again. <laughs> redemption what are all these the trials and tribulations of this trip so far i really hope it's going to be a good trip because the way things are going So we have arrived in Rosal Khaima. We are at the Hilton Beach Resort Hotel and we just got to the room and let me just see. This is nice. <laughs> I like what I see. Um so let me just give you a quick tour.
enough of this room tour. I think I just wanna take a shower and see if I can go inside the water. This beach weather is really doing me good already. We've been here for maybe an hour max, but it's already doing me good. Like I feel like my skin is already glowing. Um, we just ordered room service because we didn't have lunch yet, so we're gonna eat first and then I can go down to the beach. But the sun is almost setting. It's lovely. I was gonna go down to the water but I'm really just enjoying the vibes of sitting here and listening to the waves crash on the beach. Mm. Bliss. Struggle of the Hotel Duvet. Let's see. It's not moving. It's not budging. <laughs> see you tomorrow. morning uh, it's currently around 6 a.m. and I know that the point of the staycation is to sleep in and relax but we are dealing with a different kind of weather so I woke up early so I can go outside and walk on the beach maybe go into the water before the Sun gets too hot so I just made myself a cup of coffee to start off then I will change and head out Yesterday in the evening when we took the walk, it looked really nice. Try to wake myself up so I can go and explore a bit before it gets too too hot. I'm not talking loudly because my husband is still asleep and I don't think he will go outside this early in the morning. I am I am one of those people when you go for a vacation <laughs> who will be up and about and saying, let's go here, let's go explore the amenities, let's go see what the place has to offer. That's me. I'm not the sleeping type. Today is the only full day we have here. That's why I want to maximize uh, the experience. Came down to the beach. Time to dip into the water for a swim. Holy Jesus! What is that? It's a snake. It's a snake. What I saw 
was something about the length of my forearm wiggling in the water. That's what I saw. And I stick by my story. Looked like a snake, a water snake or something. <laughs> stationary right now because we stopped for um, ice cream but we are heading to um, the mountain Jebel Jais we're going for the zip line so I'm going to try that out it's about one hour drive from uh, Ras Al Khaimah itself and the temperatures up there are looking good I've checked online it's showing the temperature on top of the mountain between 3 to 4 p.m. to be around 27 degrees which is the time we expect to be arriving there so that will be a nice change in the environment other than that nothing much to report we'll see you at the top of the mountain speaking of Jebel Jays I can already see it in front of us so we are trying to go up there it's not really clear but we're trying to go up this mountain. It seems really far right now, but it's not... Okay, it seems closer. It's just from the camera, it looks really far, but we are going up this mountain. quite close but because of these bends on the road like it makes it take so much longer to get to the top but the rock formations are so mesmerizing like okay I don't know I feel like you can see the differences although in the camera it's coming out like it's all just a bunch of rocks but every time I look at another one I see like a different sort of formation or something like that some of them look slanted like part of the mountain was sinking down it's very interesting to look at
we are almost at the top and I have spotted the zip line. I don't know if you can see it. It's so tiny. You can see the small white bubbles <laughs> hanging in the air. It's a small tiny rope going all the way. That's the zip line. Uh, and a sudden wave of fear has just hit my spine. So that is the road that we used to get to the top. We're here. The whole way here I was just fine. But now that I'm actually here, I'm feeling kind of nervous. I just finished registering. I got my camera. So we're going to... I think there's a briefing of some sort. And then we'll take it from there. at this moment that he knew he f up Another one. It was amazing. I want to do it again. <laughs> Thank goodness for that part. Oh. 
How was it? It was great. I had to do it again. Another one. Everything was so tight. Compare the cuteness of the before versus after all the zip lining and the sledging. I have. <laughs> let me give you the story. First of all, let me freshen up. Let me calm down and then I will tell you what happened at the zip line because. Not the zip line. The zip line was fine. I'm giving too much. Just give me a minute. I'll be right back. Obviously, I made it out alive and, uh, and I can be able to break down the experience of uh, the zip line and I, first thing I would say is if you if you have the chance to do it do it it was so much fun all the emotions all the fear all the happiness like it was epic oh I wish it was longer but it was so short although the zip line itself is about 2.8 kilometers long Mm -hmm. From the place where we registered and everything, there's another van that takes you further up to the top of the mountain. That area is actually restricted, so only uh, the people who have signed the waiver and, you know, registered their details can go up. And me, the time I was signing the waiver, I didn't even read it, by the way. Terms and conditions are the window. Sign, 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 sign. Where do I get my harness? Let me go. When I got to the top, uh, I found some... Um, Kenyan guy, he was the one who was putting the harnesses and he was just making fun. He was talking like, you know me, when I see Kenyan people coming to do these things, I'm like, oh, my poor Kenyans, blah, blah, blah. Like, you know, trying to put the fear in you. I think uh, it's supposed to help you have more fun or something. I don't know. But anyway, they were making fun of me and making jokes. And then I got strapped in and sent off. Oh, before I got strapped in, there was a small briefing, of course, from the guys who were standing over there. And the guy was telling me that the actual speeds get up, depending on the wind, is between 120 to 170 kilometers per hour. And there's no way in this world whereby a human body should be moving at 170 kilometers per hour without being in any vehicle of any sort, you know, like a compartment, a car, a rocket, something. Like, let me be inside something. Why am I just out, outside here, like with my own body and I'm moving at this speed? And when I tell you, my face collapsed, <laughs> collapsed. You know how they do those slow-mo things and you can just see like someone's face. There was no slow-mo. For a good like 30 seconds in between, like when I hit full speed, my face was just like, oh! Ew! <laughs> I couldn't even breathe properly, but it wasn't so bad. So you go through the first, the longest part, which is the 2.8 kilometers of full speed. I started out joking, like in the beginning, I was joking around. Then I realized, wait, this is a bit serious. Then after that, after I got over it, like, okay, I'm doing it, blah, blah, blah. I started now looking down at the rocks, at the road, at the cars passing by. And it was so like breathtaking to have that bird's eye view like you know this is how like birds be looking down at us like it was just nice to look at and while i was still enjoying i felt the brakes and the brakes it's like someone just comes and tags you from the back like stop where are you going <laughs> it wasn't too bad but it was a gentle tag but it was sudden like i wasn't expecting it out my i was busy looking down i was mesmerized and suddenly i felt the sudden tag and then i reached the first uh stop point and it's just a platform that is suspended in the air in the middle of the mountains which is so beautiful then the rest of the zip line is just the regular zip line the one where you just need um, you just sit, you don't need the full body armor or whatever it is that they put me in and you just uh, go sitting and you hold on to the to the pulley rope so you hold on to the pulley rope and you finish it off sitting that part was really short, it was, I, I can't even say like 5 seconds or 6 seconds a very short part but that was uh, so much fun and I'm so happy that I recorded it because this will go into the memories I wish I would get another chance to do it again because it was fun, it was fun. I, it wasn't as scary as I expected, and yet it was still scary because it's still dangerous, sort of, you know. And then after that, 
now my adrenaline was up i was excited i was enjoying being in the mountains i was like i want to go and do the sledge uh the sledge is just some similar to a roller coaster but you don't it's not a train it's just like individual um cars individual sledges that go down the the mountain so i was like i want to do the sledge as well the sledge is like a fraction of the price of the of the zip line so i was like i want to do the sledge okay so i went i got on the sledge um they told me in the first part when you're going up you just sit relax and then when you reach the top now coming back down they'll give instructions of how to come back down fine fine unfortunately they told us that unless you have a gopro strapped to your body you cannot take your phone you cannot take your phone to record anything and i kind of understood because the sledge you need both hands to uh, operate it so i went up nice ride the ride up was very very slow and scenic and you know you're enjoying everything although the sounds the machine was making was a bit <laughs> like are you working correctly anyway so i reached the top then this is the problem again another kenyan guy who was there he was like hey hey mambo blah 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 how are you enjoying did you enjoy the the zip line i was like the zip line was epic that's why i came here because right now i'm in the mood to do all kinds of adventurous things then this guy tells me there is two handles on either side so in the top it's written stop on each of the handles then he tells me that these handles, you put them down to go, then when you reach the bottom, when you see the red flashing lights, that's when you stop. So make sure that you hold these handles down all the way to the bottom. Come on now, dog. Come on, man. <laughs> I was like, okay, okay. So I put them down. I said like this. He said, yes, like this. Once you reach the bottom, pull it up to stop. So me, in my head, I thought that if I pull these handles up midway, I will stop. And then midway, like, how am I going to stop in the middle of the mountain? So I get in the sledge. I put my hands down. First turn, I was like, that was a bit fast. Second turn, I had my glasses on. My glasses are literally hanging off my face. I am going at ungodly speeds. The seat belt is like the only thing keeping me from, especially on the bends, from rolling off because there is no fencing. Unless at really tight turns, there are some places which they have put uh, fences, the places where there are loops. But where there's no loops, like it's just a curve, you just. I was like. <laughs> this guy had not told me that if I want to slow down the speed. Because I thought these handles are for stopping only. If I want to slow down the speed, I can just pull them up to slow down and then put them back down. I didn't know this. Imagine I went down the whole um, the whole distance of that sledge at full speed. And if you are watching and you've gone down that sledge at full speed, then you know what I mean. My life flashed before my eyes. I forgot about the zip line, and all I was thinking about is how they're gonna rescue me with all these rocks because there's no place a cow can pass there. Anyway, all in all, I survived. It was so much uh, fun. I would 100% recommend if you are coming to uh, UAE. Ras Al Khaimah has been fun, so much fun this time around. But right now, we're back in the room, uh, ordered for a lunch because I didn't eat anything. Before we went, we could have eaten, but I was just like, no, I don't wanna eat. I just wanna go and do my adventurous things. And then what I'm looking at in front of me, see the way this, the, the light is hitting my face. What I'm looking at in front of me is absolutely beautiful. Let me show you. Ah, the sunsets in this place with the water just in front, always so epic. So this is the final uh, night and uh, tomorrow back to Dubai. Uh, lunch stroke dinner is here. I ordered for uh, butter chicken and paratha And this is just some lemonade I was having from before Let me dig in because after all that adventure, I'm really hungry
As all things must come to an end the weekend is over it's time to head back to Dubai <laughs> this is this this is what is in front of me and I don't feel like leaving I just feel like I should extend a bit more but fun was had it was a good good time so now we are getting ready to check out we're calling for the buggy to take us back to the reception and then we'll be heading back to Dubai I'm gonna miss this and this is the last fit of the day of the weekend yeah this is the last fit of the weekend I thought it would just be fitting to leave this place in the cool tones of um, what color is this sage the cool tones of sage and uh, say goodbye to this beautiful place <laughs> Just like that, I'm back home, sweet home. The weekend was amazing. I'm, I'm sad it's over, but I had so much fun. I hope you had fun watching me have fun. Um, so I just finished unpacking, put the clothes in the laundry. How long does it take you to unpack when you're done from a trip? Oh, my load is done. But how long does it take you to unpack when you're back from a trip? I tried to do it immediately because today is Sunday, tomorrow is Monday, and we are getting back to the swing of the week. So that's why I had to get everything situated today. So the house is cleaned up, I've tidied up, done the laundry, and now I'm ready for the week. And I just came to close off this video, and thank you for watching all this way. Don't forget to like, uh, give it a thumbs up. If you enjoy the content, drop a comment down below and if you haven't subscribed do so and i'll see you on the next video bye